High second violins. This is the festive dance part one video. So just measures one through 21. I'm gonna play through one through 21 first and then I'll talk through section by section. Here's the run through of one through 21. This is 80 beats per minute. Not concert tempo, but it's just to keep us at a steady pace. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. stopped right at 21. So let's talk about just the first four measures. We only have four different notes here, either D, F sharp, A, oh sorry, five, E, or G. Okay, measures one through four, here's what it sounds like. So again, if you're playing D, is no fingers. F sharp, two fingers. A, I'm doing four on the D string for this, just so in measure three, I can go from F sharp in measure two, stay on the same string. A, A, F sharp, F sharp. If you choose to go to open A, You can do that, just make sure it's clean. That's what your bow is doing, A, A, and then the D string for the last two beats in measure three with two fingers down. Measure four is one, three, three, one. Okay, let's play through measures one through four. similar rhythm in measures five and six as we had in measures one and two. Same for seven and eight. The rhythm is all the same. The way the notes move are the same, but we have different pitches. So measure five, instead of D F sharp, we have E to G. Here's measure five. And then just like measure two, between those two notes, you're going to play down, up, down, up, down, up in measure six. Again, that's one, three, 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 three in measure six. Measure seven, it looks almost like the D major scale. We start on E and we play two Gs. Here's seven. Then eight, the rhythm is the same as measure four. One, two and long, it's the same, but we play F sharp, open, open, F sharp on the D string, two, open, open, two. I'm gonna say the note names as I play five through eight. I'm gonna do it a little bit slower. Here's five through eight with the note names, one, two, here we go. One, three, one, three, one, three, 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 one, two, three, three, two, open, open, two. Okay, let's do the same thing one through nine. Slow like that with the finger numbers. One, two, ready, go. Open, two, open, two, open, two, 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 four, four, two. One, two, three, three, one. Measure five. One, three, 
One, three, one, three, 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 one, two, three, three, two, open, open, two. Measures nine and ten are almost the exact same as measures one and two. The rhythm is a little bit different. In measure two, we played. In measure 10, we have something different. It's so close, but instead of one, two, three, and four, and in measure 10 is one, two, and three, and four, okay? Measure nine is the same as measure one, though. So let's play nine and 10. One, two, ready, go. Again, let's compare that to measures one and two. Here's one and two. Here's measures nine and 10. Okay, and in 11, you see two notes on top of each other. These are called double stops. Second time I got it. We're on the D string and the A string together, but it's open. No fingers are left hand. This is the last two notes in, or last two beats in measure 11. D and A together. So that whole measure, measure 11, sounds like. Okay. And then measure 12 is very similar to measure 8, except for you have three. Open, open, three. Measure eight, you had two, open, open, two. Notice that F sharp is just one step lower than G, so one finger less. 12, you have. That was measure 12. Let's do 11 and 12. One, two, ready, go. Open, two, both, both. Let's do it one more time. My double stalls were not that great that time. This is 11 and 12. Oh. So really positioning your bow on both strings is going to be crucial for that. Do it again. Here's measure 13. We have three, three, one on A, three. So it might be good to keep your third finger on the D string if you can. Notice my left hand didn't move at all that time. I had three down on the D string, one on the A string. And then again, you can play four for A in 14. you're going right back down to F sharp. So here's 13 and 14. Work on weaving those fingers around. During the two Gs in 13, I was moving my index finger over to A string. Then 15 is one, three, one, one. Two. That was 15 and 16. Those notes in the staff should look very familiar because we played a lot of E's, G's, F sharps, and D's already. First four notes in the D major scale, and they show up a lot in the first two lines. Here's 17. We have a new note in 17. That low note below the staff is one on the G string. So you're going to have open, open, one. Sorry, it's not going to sound like that. It's going to sound like. First three notes are on the D string. Open, open, one. Then one on the G string. That's measure 17. Measure 18 uses similar notes. Ds and F sharps, just in a different order. That was 18 and the first note of 19. 19 after that first D should look familiar. It's a G, three fingers. Then 20. 
We went from G, G, or G, 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 to two, 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 just one step lower, one finger less. Let's play 17 through 21. We're on the D string. Got a little mixed up in 18. I thought about 16 and where else would we have that rhythm? 16. I think I kind of played it like 16. The rhythm is one, two, and three, four, and which is like chick, uh, what did we say? Chick, fole, chick, fole. Is that what we said for that rhythm? I don't know if we had that as a rhythm. I think it might be Chick-fil-A. It's the opposite of Chick-fil-A. It's long, short, short, long, short, short, and 18. Let's play 17 through 20 one more time. Then make sure you get that lift at the very end there. All right, thank you for practicing with me. Break it up into sections like that. Try to find the patterns. Try to find the notes that you recognize. The only way that you'll be able to read notes better is if you notice when they stay the same versus when they change, okay? Find similarities and then find the slight differences. Is a note like just slightly higher than a note? Does that mean we add a finger? Most of the time, yes, okay? Thanks for watching, happy practicing, best of luck with festive dance, and look forward to hearing you play in class.